Hi, this is Nahi Rise from here from sportsgreview.com. All Eastern Conference matchup sees first place DC United host Chicago Fire on Wednesday. Joining us now is sports writer Kevin Stott to preview the match and do stay tuned for his tips at the end. Now, this is the first time they meet this year, but they are no stranger to each other after facing off three times in 2014. Are you expecting quite a close match? Yeah, I think this will be, uh, like most of the MLF games, this should be uh, pretty close to the vest and uh, Chicago won't get blown out on the road. Now looking at the winner's market, DC United a plus 114, uh, Bet365, uh, the draw is plus 240, also Bet365 and Chicago Fire is plus 260, 888 Sport. Uh, now then, their last three meetings in the MLS season last year, uh, two of those matches ended in a high-scoring draw and their last match played, United won at home uh, 2-1. How would you play the winner's market? I think you have a good idea in terms of being conservative with uh, maybe taking a draw no bet in terms of D.C. I don't think D.C. loses this game. I think they either win or they draw against Chicago at home uh, in uh, Washington, D.C. I, I lean towards the uh, D.C. in this particular one, so I'd uh, take a chance on that, but there's nothing wrong with in gambling and maybe making two separate bets, a draw no bet and a, uh, a winner's bet on D.C. If they won, you'd win both. If they did uh, tie, you'd win one and tie one. So that, that's also an approach. All right, then. Uh, last three meetings have seen the over two and a half bowls and both teams scoring. Uh, is that what you're thinking for this match? Yeah, sure, I meant, Natalie. We talked about it a little bit before in all the scores. The last, uh, four, goal, the last uh, four or five times they've scored have averaged four goals a game. They've got all, all five have gone over, including friendlies. So I would definitely lean towards the over, and that being said, Chicago's a kind of, kind of team that's a good both teams to bet score, uh, both teams to, to score bet. They don't always win, but they always are feisty and are in the game. So I, I would lean towards that a little bit, but the, the best, uh, probably the best lean here would be to D.C. United just to, to win the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the both teams to score bet there, that's minus 137, and the over is minus 105. Would you parlay it and combine those bets uh, to combine the both teams to score and over is plus 120, bet 365? I think this is one of those rare games that uh, you can't actually do that for this particular game with DC and the over. It, it's kind of risky, obviously, to parlay, but uh, in a lot of games in, in MLS, that, that that's just purely gambling, whereas I, I think that, that D.C. United could, could uh, score two goals here, maybe mm -hmm. three, so they could go over by themselves. So, yeah, I would recommend if there was, if you did want to parlay it, I would recommend the over with the home team, D.C. United, in this one. All right. You've also got as well uh, D.C. United and both teams to score, and these odds are plus 333. Uh, is, that, is that value enough there for you to consider that bet? Oh, no, yeah, obviously. For, when, when, when you're doing something like that, Natalie, it's all you being in charge and controlling the amounts you bet, you know? Yeah. If you were to bet 100 on that, that would be crazy, right, in, in, my, in my world. If you bet 10 on that, it's somewhat recreational and fun, and then you would be rewarded with the plus 333. Mm -hmm. So it comes down to each uh, gambler's, uh, you know, uh, profile of how much pain they can take and how much they want to bet. But, yeah, this is a good game that, uh, to maybe make a real small bet on that, the, BT, the both teams to score bet, mm -hmm. parlayed with those. Yeah. And what are, what's the tips that you have for our viewers today? I know you wrote, you wrote a great article uh, post on sportsbookreview.com. Uh, what tips do you have for the video here? Uh, like the, the thing that we didn't talk about, I think the thing maybe to give somebody confidence in terms of this particular game is D.C. United has given up the least goals in the Eastern Conference, 12. When a team doesn't give up a lot of goals in hockey or in uh, soccer, the honest is on the other team to score, and the team that's playing the good defense has pride built up, and they're like, we don't want them to score. You know, and obviously you have a good goalie in, in soccer or hockey if you're that good. So the thing to take away from this is that D.C. United is in first place. They don't want to give up that ground. They know that other good teams are chasing them. To play a mid-level team like Chicago at home, the, uh, the value is with D.C. United in this game. They're feeling good. They're playing good. They're at home. They have the best defense. They've got a great goalie in Hamid. So, uh, and they're only giving up 12 goals. Uh, you know, I, the honest is on Chicago to score. I think Chicago gets one goal, but as I uh, wrote about there, I think that D.C. gets two or three, and this goes over, and they win the game. Okay, so you're going for the D.C. United win. You're going for over two and a half goals and both teams to score. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Cheers, Kevin Stott. Hey, thanks a lot, Natalie.